Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with your weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. This week we are going to do a toxin deep dive and it is on the VOC formaldehyde. So formaldehyde is everywhere. Honestly, when you start to look at the products, materials, and places that it's found inside your home, it's a toxin that we are being exposed to frequently and in large volumes. And so it's something that we can really pay attention to to change the inside of our space. The more formaldehyde that we can remove from our space, the less burdened down our body is by this particular toxin. And one of the most concerning things about formaldehyde is that it is a carcinogen. This means that it can increase the risk of cancer in some individuals. And so it's really something I like to pay attention to in homes, even going so far as to have a formaldehyde test done on your indoor air. So we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about where formaldehyde is found in your home and how to start reducing it. I have seven very simple ways that you can start cutting it out of your home completely. So you know those toxins that are just about everywhere? The ones that you're coming in contact with all the time? The ones that are actually burdening down your body severely simply because we're constantly being exposed to them? Well, formaldehyde is one that checks all all of the boxes above. It doesn't matter where you go, chances are you are being exposed to the VOC formaldehyde. And this toxin is commonly inhaled as it's a volatile organic compound, the off gases. And what happens in our homes is that the off gassing toxins have no place to go without proper ventilation in our homes, which I should mention, we get very little ventilation in most of our homes, formaldehyde actually builds up in the interior air, making our indoor air quality very, very poor. When we look at a toxin such as formaldehyde, I think it's important to know more than just how to avoid it. It's important to know why it's used because this ultimately is going to help you understand when to look for it in products and materials. It's also really important to know what it does to the body. Without knowing this, you may not be convinced it needs to be removed from your home in the first place. So let's go on a deep dive of formaldehyde and start getting it out of your home today. To answer the question, what is formaldehyde or what is formaldehyde used for, you first have to know what it is in the first place. So formaldehyde is a naturally occurring compound. It is considered a gas and it is not able to be seen by the human eye. Often formaldehyde has a very strong chemical scent and that's one of the ways we know that it's present. Formaldehyde is also extremely flammable and is often used as a preservative in different types of products. The primary way that we come in contact with formaldehyde is through the air, as this toxin is a gas, and released into the air. So within our homes, the gas can get trapped inside, polluting our indoor air and affecting our bodies. This tells us the more ventilation we have, the more gas can escape our home and leave healthier air inside for us to breathe in our own spaces. So where is formaldehyde inside your home? As I mentioned before, formaldehyde is in many places inside your home. Some of the larger sources of formaldehyde exposure in your home would be pressed woods. So this would be plywood, manufactured woods, MDF or medium density fiberboard, particle board and chipboard. And if you look around your home, you are going to see so much of this. These types of woods are often found in the structure of our homes, as well as in our furniture that we bring into our homes. Formaldehyde is used in the adhesive application to these manufactured woods, which can be very toxic to our bodies. Formaldehyde is also used in any sort of resin product that you have in your home. So this could be furniture, it could be decor, or it could even be within your countertops. More controllable sources of formaldehyde also exist in air fresheners, plug-in fragrances, and cleaning products that contain terpenes. These 
products off gas formaldehyde once they are being used and the formaldehyde enters your home's air immediately. So oftentimes formaldehyde is in these products as a preservative to increase the shelf life of the solution. You may also be surprised if you're looking at this list to find out that formaldehyde is often in our clothing and our pillows, our bedding, our curtains, and our upholstery products. It is used as a wrinkle-free agent on these items, and it is embedded into the fabric that is used. And then finally, you want to watch out for formaldehyde in your personal care products like nail polish, nail polish remover, hair straightener, and smoothing products, synthetic fragrances, and baby products. Again, it's added as a solvent or as a preservative in these cases. So one of the great ways that you can really help your home is to actually measure or monitor the formaldehyde. So because formaldehyde is a VOC and because it is not able to be seen, to measure the amount of formaldehyde in your air, you would have to use a special tool. You can opt for an indoor air quality such as the Wave Plus that I have here, which will help you monitor the indoor air at home. If you head to the blog post, I have a discount code for you. If this is something that you're wanting to bring into your own home, it monitors several different toxins and climate changes in your home that we want to pay attention to when we're talking about a healthy home. So it's going to usually detect other issues that can be present in your home, like combustion gases, and it can also detect high humidity levels and radon. So overall, these are a very helpful item to purchase for your home to monitor your indoor air if you're looking to improve any of those levels. There's another option though, and you could do an at-home formaldehyde test that you'd be able to get the result of right away. I can mail it to you, it can be used once and in one room, but it could give you some insight into your home's air. It will tell you the level of formaldehyde inside your space and provide you with insight on this particular toxin. Because we know the answer to what is formaldehyde used for, we know that it is prevalent in homes and the levels could be potentially high. So when we're looking at what is formaldehyde in our homes, Our health is at the center of the answer. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen, meaning it can cause and increase the risk of cancer in some individuals. Formaldehyde has also been shown to change the natural ways cells grow and reproduce in our bodies. This toxin also causes lower than normal count of white blood cells in humans as a result of chronic exposure, which means we're being exposed all the time. Another effect of chronic exposure to formaldehyde is that it does affect the reproductive system and causes toxicity to those who otherwise have a healthy reproductive function. Formaldehyde vapors can also be really harmful to those who have asthma as an underlying condition, and it can cause issues to the neurodevelopment of the brain as well as the pulmonary system in general. So this is a lot going on with just one toxin, but the best and the simplest way to avoid bringing formaldehyde toxins into your home is by paying attention to the products that you're purchasing now. So to start, use a third-party app to assess the personal care products and baby products you may be bringing into your home. This is helpful not only for avoiding formaldehyde, but avoiding other toxic products and ingredients as well. Second, make sure all of the textiles and fabrics you bring into your home are organic or third-party certified. You wanna look for a GOTS certification, G-O-T-S, or a Green Guard certification. These may not mean that the product is 100% toxin-free, but it does mean that the product has fewer toxin and it does limit the amount of formaldehyde entering your space. Third, you can avoid synthetic fragrance wherever you go. Get rid of them completely if you can. Swap out those air fresheners and those room freshening sprays. You can use organic essential oils and a diffuser if that is something that is very important to you. 
Fourth, you'll want to pay attention to any furniture you purchase, so opt for hardwood pieces that don't contain any sort of manufactured woods or any added adhesives or glues. So this can be tricky, but being less impulsive and purchasing items only when you need it and after you've done research is key. Used furniture can also be a really great way to go. Fifth, I really like pointing out that you can add an air purifier that is specifically for removing toxins like formaldehyde from your home. In our home, we use Medify Air. It is a medical grade purifier filter that removes formaldehyde and other toxins. And there's more information on my website as along with my discount code. And then the sixth thing you can do is any area of your home that is impossible to change. So think plywood, sheathing, subfloor, things that are going to stay in your house. You can actually use a formaldehyde VOC blocking sealer, such as the one here from AFM Safe Coat. It is a paint on solution that will ensure that the toxins are contained and cannot off gas. And then finally, avoid products with these ingredients. I have these listed on the blog, so you can take it with you if you're going to go shopping but these are all ingredients that will contain formaldehyde. So even doing one of those things will help you reduce the levels of formaldehyde inside your home. And each small change will help unburden your body and create a healthier space at home. As always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because I am here every week with a healthy house tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. <laughs>